poem for you today called The Greatest Gift of All. And what I want you to do, not to look at me as we're reading this, but I want you to close your eyes and visualise it because it's a visual poem. And I know you can all see these pictures. You've probably grown up with these pictures, a lot of them. You've read books and you've seen them on TV. But as you close your eyes, visualise it and just see what a gift that we have been given in Jesus. Okay, it's called the greatest gift of all. You're allowed, don't go to sleep, just close your eyes, okay? What was heaven like, Lord, before you came to earth? Was it grand and awesome before your mum gave birth? Did you live in splendour with every need cared for? The host of heaven round about to open every door. What a shock it must have been to leave your wondrous place, to make yourself so tiny and join the human race. The miracle of Christmas is that God should come to us, that he should leave his life above and make himself like dust. He saw that there was no hope for man, that evil was so rife, unless the Saviour came to earth to live a special life. So God the Father chose the place. To Bethlehem you came. He also chose your parents and gave you your own name. Heaven's choir announced your birth to shepherds they did sing, who left their flocks and worshipped the one born to be king. Wise men too came from the east, following a star, bearing with them precious gifts that they brought from afar. God chose a humble stable for Mary to give birth, for the Lord of all creation to start his life on earth, so he might feel at one with man, to understand his plight, to know just what it feels like to live in this dim light. Jesus, we adore you. We thank you that you came to give yourself to us so we might never be the same. You are the greatest gift of all. You make our life complete for those who care to search for you, the treasure we all seek.